Uh, let's talk about your new movie. Okay. Alita. Alita. Alita Battle Angel. Are we saying Battle Angel or are we just saying... Because she's never called that in the film, I don't think. She's never called Alita Battle Angel. She's mainly called Alita, but I think it's like whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. Alita or Alita Battle Angel. Now you, uh, I don't, I don't want to give too much away, but you have there's a there's a big conflict within you in the movie yes. uh, in terms of what you've been doing to sort of make your way in the world. Because mm -hmm. you know, boys got to make rent. Right. Uh, and then you meet Alita, who's a she's a humanoid cyborg. Am yeah, she right? she's a she's a total replacement cyborg. Meaning the only thing that is organic and real is her brain. Okay. Everything else is synthetic. And you fall for her big time. Big time. Yeah. Yeah. It's those eyes. It's like it's like, yeah, it is those eyes, right? It's like just look they're looking deep into your soul yeah. and you can look deep into hers. Yeah. What was it like um working alongside Alita and and tell me a bit I I, I think what you're gonna say is that a lot of the sets were built because I know that green screen now is not like it used to be. A lot no. of these things get those streets were probably real, right? Yes, they're they're Our Iron City, for instance. Iron City is real. Yeah. is real and it, it was built in such an incredible way that it can stand for another 10 years and they don't have to do any work to it. Um, it won't rust? No, they, they built cement structures. You know, it's not just, you know, the, the, the front face sets that, you know, are, you know, we're used to. It's, you know, they, these, these places are, have doors, have, uh, you know, working lights. Um, you know, it's, it's a full city in the, in the back lot of Robert Rodriguez's set. Amazing. Yeah. It's like his back garden. Yeah, right? <laughs> he even he has even, a barbecue there in the summer. Yeah, on the weekends he would he would go with his kids and make fun like home movies with them. No way. Yeah, on oh. the set. So uh yeah, I mean it was yeah, the scale of the set was already so incredible then to see even them expanding that, because what they're able to do is they're able to make a set and they put a green screen at the end of the set and that green screen is able to magnify and elongate yeah. um, you know, what what you see. So that was amazing to see, you know, it's only three stories high and they were able to make it, you know, hundreds of feet high. Mm -hmm. um, so that was really interesting to see. You introduce Alita to a, a sport. A motorball. Yeah. It's um, gnarly. It's a gnarly sport. Yeah. And it's, it's like, it's, it's very, it's like very gladiator-esque. It's like, you know, in the, f and I, I, I totally believe that, that it's a possible possibility for our future. It's like, no, no, not mine. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not roping me into this, yeah, right? Okay. I don't know. It's just like, the, yeah, we, you know, we watch pretty brutal fo fo football uh, and we love it. And seeing, you know, kind of this take on, you know, this po post-apocalyptic world 300 years in the future, it's like, what, to what extent, you know, what, what will entertainment be? You know, will a simple football game be enough or, you know, will this kind of created motorball game, you know, but it kind of becomes the new love of, you know, the whole city. There's a show called Robot Wars in England. Okay. Which is where people, like dads and their sons, create like a little robot. And like made out fight? of dustbin and they fight, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. I'd actually be into that. <laughs> yeah, see, it's there very, it is. It's like very dorky, it's by the, the way. Well, there you go. There, it's like the, the, the finders of uh, robot, what is it called? Ro robot Wars. Finder of Robot Wars might start motorball in a few years. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't think any of the, of the dads and their sons who take part in that would, uh, would be able to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. do if you had an indestructible body, mm -hmm. a bit like Alita has, what sport yeah. would you be brave enough to do that you kind of feel like... If you tried now, especially as an actor, you got to be a bit. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Mm. Are you into any? I mean, you. I mean, the wingsuit. Like, I, I my my dream is to you know get in the wingsuit, but I don't think I could go near the cliffs. You know, these people are just careening 25 yeah. feet next to a mountain. So if I had an indestructible body, I would immediately do that. Yeah. Yeah. Your head would roll off if you'd have to like. Yeah. Right. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. you have to go <laughs> go fetch it. Right, it. I don't know why I've, this comes to mind, but um, the Point Break remake had a wingsuit scene in it. Yes. And <clears throat> with the money, fl was was there money flying out yeah. of the? I mean, let's not. I mean, that movie, whatever. But <laughs> but but it's unreal what those guys are able to achieve. It's crazy. It's like that it free climber, that movie Free Solo, with the yeah. guy who climbs to the top of this. Alex Arnold. Yeah, it's pretty it's, incredible. It's amazing, like, Un unreal. without any ropes. Without any ropes. That guy, you know, that guy's that guy is truly special. Yeah. Do you get scared on set on a big movie like this? Do you? On, I, I, I love asking this question to actors because I don't genuinely am trying to find out over the years as I do this job how you get past the point, you know, day one, yeah. scene one, line one. Of a big two hundred million dollar movie. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to shake again. It's PTSD. <laughs> no, I, I actually. How do you not fluff your lines? I don't understand it. Or do you? I think the the hardest part for any actor is the audition. Like 
petrifying, especially the test when you're when you're so close to the job, but it's also so far away. That is the most petrifying moment. But it's like when you get it, you know that there's been so people have been talking about whether you should have this role or not for so long that when they finally give it to you, they have some trust in you. So once I knew that I had the role, um, the stress kind of flew away. And then when I when I came on the set for the first day, Robert and John and Rosa, Christoph, they all just made me feel like I was Hugo and you know no one else could be. So even if you know it took a little time for me to realize that, you know they 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 made me feel that right away. Well, you did a great job. Thank you. You were you were the you were the only Hugo for the. You're, <laughs> Thank you're, you're, you're my Hugo now. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.